hi students today we are going to look at a new lesson named the land lady by roll doll roll doll was a british novelist short story writer poet screenwriter a fighter pilot he served in the royal air force as a fighter pilot during the world war 2 he became well known as a writer in the 1940s and became one of the best selling children's writers in the world his famous works for children include charlie and the chocolate factory the bfg James and the Giant Peach Matilda the Witches Fantastic Mr Fox as well as some of his uh, works were also made into films what this lesson is all about this lesson is all about how would one feel when here she stays in an unfamiliar uh, unknown house with a strange and mysterious host host here is guest so before we read this chapter we are going to learn and read the story of a teenage boy's stay at an unusual guest house imagining staying in an unfamiliar house with a strange and mysterious host how would you feel when you imagine this how would you feel what could happen if we are not careful anything can happen the host the guest may trick you or cheat you So let's read the story of Billy Weaver who decides to spend a night at an unfamiliar bed and breakfast with a mysterious host. Bed and breakfast is the name of a guest house with a mysterious guest with the mysterious caretaker we can say when you when you go and check in any hotel or any guest house one who takes care of you is host by the time billy weaver got to bath bath is actually a city in southern western england it was about 9 o'clock in the evening and the moon was coming up out of a clear starry sky this the air was deadly cold deadly means what extremely cold and the wind was like a flat blade of ice and is on his cheeks so what does it say it describes the first paragraph describes the weather and the surrounding at that time the weather was cold excuse me he said is there any hotel not too far away from here try the bell and Dr- dragon the porter answered porter is one who carries people's luggage at a railway station or airport or hotel so the porter pointed down the road he said try the bell and dragon and there is a hotel billy picked up his suitcase and set out to walk briskly quickly down the street here actually a bed and breakfast or b and b is a private house 
or a guest house in which you pay for a room for the night and for breakfast the following morning uh, a a b and b usually has a host in the house someone is present there to take care of you that's what it is a bed and breakfast is one night stay as well as uh the next day morning you will receive the breakfast you will receive your breakfast so there was a line of tall identical houses on each side both side tall houses were there even in the darkness he could see that the paint was peeling from the woodwork on their doors and windows and the handsome white facades facades is the front part of building were cracked and blotchy from neglect blotches patchy it was cracked and therefore there were patches uneven from neglect neglect you know lack of care so it was not fully cared the houses were not cared well and therefore there were patches and so on suddenly billy caught sight of a printed notice he caught sight of means he looked check took a look at or he saw a printed notice propped propped means supported to keep in position on the way up against the glass it said bed and breakfast he moved a bit closer to the post to the prop notice green curtain hung on either side of the window the yellow chrysanthemum is a flower a kind of garden flowers looked wonderful beside them a garden flower chris crescenta mums crescenta mums looked wonderful beside those windows he peered he looked through the glass into the room and saw a bright fire burning in the hearth hearth means what the floor of a fireplace on the carpet in front of the fire a pretty little dachshund dachshund is a small dog with a long body and very short legs so the dachshund was curled up asleep it was asleep with its nose tucked into its belly how dogs usually sleep the same way dash and also slept the room itself was filled with a pleasant furniture very nice furniture there was a baby grand piano baby grand piano the smallest size of a grand or large piano supported by three legs was there a big sofa and several plump arm chairs and in one corner he spotted a large parrot in a cage certainly it seemed a comfortable place to him by looking at the feature of the room and the surrounding he decided okay it would be a very comfortable place for him after dithering dithering means what hesitating because of being unable to decide he was in confused state uh, after hesitating in the cold uh, for 2 or 3 minutes billy decided that he would take a look at the bell and dragon before making up his mind before he decided as he turned to go his eyes were his eye was caught 
and held in the most peculiar manner most peculiar means strange manner by the small notice what it said bed and breakfast it said bed and breakfast bed and breakfast so each word was like a large black eye staring at him holding him compelling him compelling him means appealing to him so it just captivated him forcing him to stay and before he knew he was actually moving to the front door of the house he almost lost himself and he was moving to the front door of the house climbing the steps and reaching for the bell he pressed the bell he hadn't even removed his finger from the bell button the door swung open and a woman popped up popped out just like a jack in the box jack in the box is a child's toy that consists of a box with a doll inside it's that jumps out when the lid is open you may have seen this uh, toy or you may have played with it it is called jack in the box it was like that a woman opened the door like a jock jack in the box it is the device is simile it made is it made him jump because all of a sudden when uh, you keep pressing the bell button and the woman or anybody comes out of the door it mean opens the door all of a sudden so you get frightened so it made him jump she was about 45 or 40 years old please come in she said giving him a warm welcoming smile billy found himself automatically walking forward by looking at the the pleasant or good looking woman he forgot himself and he just automatically walked inside walked forward the desire to follow after her was extraordinarily strong he just followed her i saw the notice in the window he said i was wandering about a room billy said this to the woman to the host it's all ready for you my dear she said it is all ready the room everything is ready for you my dear she said she had a round pink face and very gentle blue eyes i knew you would come she said this she seemed terribly nice oh, she, billy took billy took off his hat and stepped over the threshold the threshold means the floor at the bottom of a doorway just hang there she said there were no other hats no coats no umbrellas no walking sticks or nothing we have it all to yourselves we have it all to ourselves so we have we possess everything you see it isn't very often i have the pleasure of taking a visitor into my little nest she said smiling as he as she led the way upstairs what she said we have it all to ourselves we have all what you are looking for you see it's a, it's isn't very often i have the pleasure of so she never used to invite or take any visitor into her little guest house so she said smiling as she led the way upstairs so she took him to the upstairs the old girl here is it is an un- informal british term for an elderly woman old girl is slightly dotty dotty is actually an informal british word for someone who is slightly crazy or likely to do strange things 
That's what Billy thought. Billy thought is she's a old girl as well as dotty. I hope until here it is clear. If you have doubt or question, we can discuss in the class. Thank you.